everybody. I am a Dwindy. A Dwindy, Dwindies. Do you remember us? We're the children, children of Papa Gus. We can laugh, we can sing. Trouble and friends we bring. Oh, everybody hear me sing. Do you remember us? Gustav Baumann was a Santa Fe artist. He was here in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. He was an important artist in this colony during that era. And he is best known as a woodblock printmaker, um, known around the world for his woodblock prints. But he also did just about everything he could, which was also carving hand-carved wooden marionettes in the European tradition, large-scale marionettes for performance for children and for adults as well. Gustav Baumann immigrated to the United States with his family from Germany when he was a child. He grew up in Chicago, and he was trained at an early age in the printmaking and commercial art as an illustrator in the Chicago area. He returned to Germany, to Munich, to study at a vocational school there, probably a little equivalent to our high school, but to train in commercial arts and in art and in woodblock printmaking. He came back to Chicago. He worked for commercial companies. He also opened his own company. He was considered very successful, but he started to move around a little bit. He was in Indiana for a while, and he heard about the New Mexico art colonies and about New Mexico as an artist, came here, went to Taos, was in Santa Fe. And in Santa Fe, apparently he ran out of money a little bit. But he met the director of this museum, I believe it was 1918, very shortly after this museum opened. And the director became very interested in Bauman. I think he forwarded him a little bit of money and he offered him a studio in the basement of this museum. And Bauman got interested in Santa Fe and eventually moved himself from Chicago and Indiana here to Santa Fe to live and work. Well, before Bauman came to Santa Fe, he was already, let's say, famous in, in the printing world. Um, he'd been published in national magazines. He'd won international expositions. Uh, but he had to learn the hard way. I mean, he learned, he apprenticed in, in a commercial print shop. Uh, and so for a long time, he tried making it as a commercial artist. And he was rather successful in Chicago as a commercial artist. Uh, he would design calendars and a Packard, uh, things for the Packard Motor Company. Uh, and I think Bauman was a very successful artist here in New Mexico in the sense of certainly reputation. Uh, he was well known, uh, not only just in artistic circles, but uh, I, I think in a, the wider community as, as someone who contributed to the civic culture. He was very influential in the way Santa Fe developed as, a, as an arts community. Uh, he was the head of the Public Works of Art program here in Santa Fe. He, he was quite a fixture here. I, I would consider that successful. Bauman uh, never made a whole lot of money off of his work. Not that he wasn't successful and well-known, but I don't think he was uh, trying to, say, cash in on the Bauman name. Uh, I think the most he ever sold a piece for was about $150, and he wanted to work with the client or the customer. Uh, it was more important to him that his work uh, get out there and be enjoyed, so he would, he would sell a piece to you for what you could afford. I think that's the thing about Bauman. He, his life was an art piece. Um, he never stopped working. His, I mean, he must have stopped working, obviously, but it, it seemed like he never did. Um, you know, when he worked on his house, he painted everything or carved everything inside. And his living room was given over to the puppets. And he just lived this, this art, art form.